This bee is a honeybee. A honeybee? Yes, a honeybee. There are many different types of bees, but this one is an eastern honeybee. It has distinct golden yellow and brown stripes across its body. Where do they come from? Eastern honeybees come from South and Southeast Asia. They can be found in many countries. There, the honeybees collect nectar from flowers by eating the nectar. When these worker honeybees return to the beehive, they give the nectar to other worker honeybees. These honeybees will put the nectar in the honeycomb cells and use their wings to fan it. This will change the nectar into honey. The bees will use the honey as a food source. So that's how honey's made. Hey, what kind of shape is that? That's a hexagon. Honeycomb cells are shaped that way because they use the least amount of beeswax to build a beehive. Honeybees prefer to build their beehives in small spaces, like hollow trees. This is a female bee. It's a she. This is clear from her yellow stripes. And all worker bees are female. Worker bees are responsible for gathering nectar, building the honeycomb cells, feeding the babies, tending to the queen bee. There's a queen? Yes, the queen makes all the baby bees. It has a longer body and smaller wings. The male bees, also known as drones, are rounder in shape and have bigger eyes. These drones only have one job, which is to help queen bees from other beehives make babies. The drones don't have a sting like the female worker bees do. A uh, sting? Honeybees only sting if they feel their beehive is in danger. These hard-working creatures just want to protect their colony. Where can we look to help this honeybee find her colony, Ranger Rocky? Hmm, bees are attracted to brightly colored flowers. The caterpillar that you found is a blue pansy. It will turn into a blue pansy butterfly soon. The caterpillar is about to turn into a pupa and then it will become a butterfly. Oh, wow, that's amazing. A chrysalis, which is like a protective shell, will form around the pupa. The caterpillar will turn into a butterfly inside the chrysalis. Should we leave the caterpillar where it is until it becomes a butterfly? Hmm, let me see. It says here that there are many types of blue pansy caterpillars and butterflies. The one in our garden is usually found in parks and open grassy areas in Thailand, Singapore, and Malaysia. It likes to eat and live on a plant known as the Chinese violet. The Chinese violet has small flowers that are white with purple markings. This type of blue pansy is called a Eunonia orethia wallacei. That's the scientific name for this butterfly. It was named after a British explorer and scientist called Alfred Russell Wallace. He did great research on wildlife, and he also collected many butterflies. Blue pansy butterflies are very pretty. The males have bright blue lower wings, while the females have brown lower wings. I would love to see one of them, Ranger Rocky. Katie says this caterpillar will turn into a butterfly very soon. That's correct, Leo. This caterpillar will become a butterfly in about a week. Blue pansy butterflies love to sunbathe with their wings spread out, showing you the beautiful details and colors of their wings. We want to take the caterpillar to a place that has the Chinese violet, because blue pansy butterflies and caterpillars live in it and feed on it. The blue pansy butterflies also lay their eggs on the Chinese violet. This plant can be found in wastelands, the edges of nature reserves, and land that has been left uncared for.